What's good, my Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football? This is Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. It's my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to the content. Today we're going to be talking about um, Mike Evans. Um, I just want to tell y'all my thoughts on Mike Evans. Look, Mike Evans is a hell of a receiver throughout his career. I think he's coming off like maybe 10 straight 1,000 yard seasons. Uh, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. Um, I'm just kind of doing this video off the fly, but um, now this year coming in with Kyle Trask and Baker Baker Mayfield, I think this is the year Mike Evans don't get that 1,000 yards. And then you got to factor in uh, he's probably going to have some time injured and stuff like that. But it's like with them two quarterbacks, I don't trust them. I, I just don't trust them. I don't know how this offense is going to run. Um, I picture it, they will probably try to establish the run and do play action passes to get people open. It's not the same team. You have two different quarterbacks that are below average. Um, and it's like when you look at this Tampa Bay Bucks team fantasy wise, like at one point I was really high on Rashad White. I still think he's going to have a solid year, but I was like high on him, high on him. But when I'm looking at it, I had the experience of drafting uh, a running back last year, James Conner. A lot of people drafted James Conner, and he wound up on a bad team. Everything was just bad around him, and he suffered. Like, James Conner was a disappointment last year. And, yeah, it's our fault for kind of chasing the touchdown upside because that uh, the previous year had like 16 touchdowns. I wasn't, when I drafted him, I wasn't looking for 16, but I thought he was a lock-in for at least like, you know, probably like 9, 10 or something like that. But he didn't get that. And it's like, you know, with Mike Evans, it's like, we know he's a good receiver, but do you want to draft him with a premium pick? Uh, I ain't look at ADP, uh, but I'm gonna guess that he's probably going around maybe like what, fifth, sixth, maybe seventh round. I don't even know if I want to draft him at that price, only because it's like, I think Mike Evans is gonna have weeks where he'll win you a week, he'll be solid. He might have them weeks like he might have like two really explosive games. He get like 27, 28 points, you know, really help you out. But then he's gonna have those weeks because of the bad QB play that them targets, he might get them, but they might not be there. Um, I, I think this is gonna be a down year for Mike Evans, and I don't even wanna touch him. I, I, I don't, like if he falls to like, you know, ninth, 10th round or some shit like that, which I don't think it's gonna happen, but if he fell that far, then yeah, I, I take a flyer on him. But like, it's like, it's, it's so many young wide receivers that's coming in the league first, second year, people forgetting about that's probably going to do way better than Mike Evans so it's like if you take Mike Evans with a premium pick or early pick for fifth round you got to consider in the fact that that QB situation is probably going to be limited for him um and you know you still got Chris Godwin there um uh, I'm really not high on Chris Godwin but Chris Godwin will possibly, in my opinion, do better than Mike Evans because, you know, he's going to eat up the inside. He's going to be getting the slants and stuff like that. So he's going to have games where he has, like, probably, like, five, six receptions and, uh, you know, a solid floor for you to rely on to help you win a, a, a matchup for whatever week that is. You know, but with Mike Evans, it's like, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't know how to, you know, I think the fantasy football community, not everybody, but some people feel the same as me. Like, I don't know if I want to draft Mike Evans. Like, I, I think he's a fade on most, like, he's a fade for me on most drafts and stuff like that. It, it depends on the price. But on the flip side, you never know. Maybe he does have solid, you know, solid, um, games and he helps you you know win a couple games or something and he's 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 a solid good wide receiver for fantasy but i don't see it this year i think mike evans is gonna eventually you know he's probably gonna have a down year and he's probably gonna force his way off of tampa bay or tampa bay's we're gonna cut release him the next season or trade him like tampa bay is not in a position to win anymore 
um, they're not a laughing stock organization, so I do believe they can still make the right moves and um, possibly win in the near future. So that's just my take. Like, um, I'm not high on Mike Evans. He's one of them, them, them wide receivers. I, I'm not going. I wouldn't be excited about getting if I had to draft them. And I would look at, you know, I would look at other people that's probably, you know, younger, higher upside, some of these young rookies. Um, because I think what Mike Evans is going to give you this year is probably going to at least be, you know, two, three rookie wide receivers that can give you the same or even better. So that's just how I look at it. Um, y'all can tell me if y'all agree with it or not. Whoever watched this video, you know, comment. Uh, like and, su and subscribe. Um, I also have uh, um, a Facebook channel, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. I commission pay and free leagues, and uh, I will be doing the league recaps throughout the year through uh, video. Like everything leading up to the draft, I'm going to be talking to y'all about it. Um, and we're going to have a fun fantasy football season. So like and subscribe. Follow my page on Facebook. I mean, join my group on Facebook, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. All right.